Hi, this is Adrian from White Hat Automation, and today we're going to look at some of the functions of the Super Spin feature in Spinner Chief 3. So I'm going to go right ahead and paste an article into the Spinner Chief edit window. Now, first of all, what we'll do is spin it without actually adding any synonym. So that, that there is the actual original article. And I've done that just so we can check it by Copyscape. And we can see that there's loads of duplicate content. So this article is definitely duplicate. And normally what we'd do is go to the Super Spin interface. That's the default settings. It's on Spin to Readable and Unique. So when we spin it, you're going to get a very human readable article and hopefully it's going to pass copy scape. So if we spin it, and it's very fast when it does that, go into the normal spin interface, spin the article, and check by copy scape. And it's passed copy scape. And that was a lot of duplicate content to eliminate, but it's done a very good job there. And normally, you don't need to do much more than that to get a human readable article that will pass copy scape. But sometimes that just isn't enough, and I'm sure you've come across it, and the article does not pass Copyscape. So what can we do about that? Well, let's have a look at one thing we can do. I've put the uh, another article in now, and we're going to the Super Spin interface. Now, these are the settings that the article last passed with, the last article passed with. So if we spin it, and go into the Spin article, interface and spin the article and we can check my copy scape. Now remember the last one passed with this but this one hasn't and I'm sure you've come across that before. So let's see what we can do about that. I'll put the same article back in again and go into the super spin interface. Now here's the first thing we can try. We can move this slider to make the article most unique. Now when you do that Spinner Chief's going to add more synonyms to try and make the article more unique. Now, although Spinner Chief is very good at this, it's possible that your article will be less human readable, but with a better chance of passing Copyscape. So let's spin on these settings, go into the spin interface, that's the article spun, and let's check by Copyscape. And indeed, that has got the article through Copyscape. So again, that may be all you need to do when an article, when you've got problems getting your article through Copyscape. But sometimes, even this isn't enough. And I'll show you what I mean with another article. There's another article. Paste it in. We're going to the Super Spin interface. And this is the setting we just used that got the last, last article through Copyscape. We'll spin it, go into the spin interface and spin it into an article, and let's check that by Copyscape. Now this got the last article through, but not this one. This is a bit more difficult. So let's see what else we can do with the new super spin feature. I'll put the article back in, and we'll go back into the super spin feature. Now that didn't work this time, this most unique setting, so I'll put it back. And we'll look below the line now. Now when Spinner Chief re replaces synonyms, it uses our unique uh, statistical replacement method, which means it chooses the best synonym or phrase that is statistically best. Uh, and in that case, it's more likely to pass to read well. It's more likely to be human readable. But sometimes... For example, if you've got a phrase, um, this article is great, Spinner Chief may see that and replace it with a four-word phrase, this article is fantastic. Now, Spinner Chief's happy with that because it thinks it's replaced four words. In fact, in reality, it's only actually replaced one word. Great has changed to fantastic. And because of this, that's why sometimes articles will not pass Copyscape. So what we can do is check this box here and that will eliminate those types of duplicate synonym replacement methods. Now this may, again, result in your article being slightly less human readable, or it may not. But they are, the synonyms that Spinner Chief will use are slightly less statistically 
better. So the chances are it will be a little bit less human readable. But let's go ahead and use this setting and see what it does to this article in terms of passing Copyscape. So I've spun the article, now let's check it by Copyscape. And there we go, it has passed. So that's very useful and will help you when articles are a bit difficult to pass Copyscape. But sometimes even this isn't enough. And so there's something else we can do. We'll use this final article to demonstrate it. So I've pasted another article in there. We'll go into the super spin setting. And we'll use the same setting that got the last article through Copyscape. The eliminate duplicate synonym setting. Let's spin that. Go into the spin interface and spin. There's the article. And let's check by Copyscape. This setting got the article through Copyscape last time, but not this time. And this article is particularly stubborn, and you may have come across that before, where no matter what you do, it seems, you can't get the article through Copyscape. So let's see what we can do about that. I'll put the same article back in, and we'll look at another feature of Superspin. I'll take that checkbox off, because that didn't work for us. Now, what we found in our research, and there's been a lot of it, and a lot of work gone into this, but very often... There's just one or maybe two sentences that are causing a problem for Copyscape. And it's not only that sentence, but because Copyscape doesn't like the sentence for whatever reason and marks it up as duplicate, it also is a bit harsh on the other phrases in your article that may well be duplicate as well. And they may be only small three-word phrases. But if you've got that sentence in that it doesn't like, it's a bit harsh on you. Now, at the moment, we've got a radio button here checked that says don't deal with a sentence that will lead to duplicate and can't spin. We can take that off and put this one on, eliminate duplicate for the sentence that will lead to duplicate and can't spin. Now, this is method one, and this is the one we're interested in. So what it's going to do, Spinner Chief, is it's going to find a sentence, the sentence or sentences that it knows are going to cause issues with Copyscape. And when it finds it, it's just going to delete it. So your article is going to have one less sentence in it, the trouble sentence. So let's go ahead and spin using this setting. All the other settings are the same. It's just the bog standard default setting. So you know the article is going to be pretty much human readable. But this time, Spinner Chief has identified a really troublesome sentence. And it's just taken it out. So let's go into the spin Interface, spin the article, and check by Copyscape. Now look at that. That's pretty powerful, isn't it? All it's done is delete one sentence and use the normal default setting for the rest of the article on a really troublesome article that we can't get through Copyscape, and it's past Copyscape. That's pretty exciting, isn't it? There's a lot that can be done with that. And let's have a look at the article here that I pasted in. This is the article, <laughs> and and it, all it's done is is delete one sentence. And in fact, this here is the sentence. It's identified this sentence, deleted it, and because this was the troublesome sentence, Copyscape has forgiven us all the other smaller possible duplicates as well, and it and it's passed Copyscape because of that. There is one other thing you can do when you are using this this setting. I'll just show you in the super spin setting. There is another method, method two here. And that doesn't delete the sentence. What it does is it exchanges a few characters, for example, an L for a capital I and, and a few others, to... Um, kind of ob obfuscate the words that are in the sentence and to try to stop triggering off the Copyscape filters. Now, this is for uh, advanced users who will have specific methods um, that they're doing, for sp they have specific uses. And normally, um, I would stay clear of this unless you know exactly what you're doing. Certainly, if you're involved in SEO, 
um, that may not be the best way to go about it. If you simply use this setting and all it's going to do is delete the sentence, most of the time that is going to do what you want it to do. It's a very powerful uh, uh, fun function. It's going to help you get your articles through Copyscape in no time at all. We spent a lot of time and effort on this and you can see it works very well. So I hope you have uh, a lot of good fortune with your article spinning. And we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.